GM and welcome to a new video. This is your complete guide to the new open C. You can see this here. This is the video that starts playing once you go to openc.io. This means that the beta is now officially over. I've shown you this in my previous videos that OpenC started with the OS2 beta and this is now ending. And now we have the experience points voyage as they call it. I will explain you how to take a part of this for the open C airdrop and how to set everything up. So in this video here, I will guide you through it step by step. As always, all the links are down in the description. While you're down there, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and maybe send this video to your friends who should be onboarded to OpenSea. I also have a lot of other videos online on my channel, on Abstract, for example, on Monad, a lot of videos explaining uh, blockchains, wallets and everything around that. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and now let's dive right in. Get started by customizing your experience. Let's do that. So this is built for both collectors and pros. This is the collector mode. This is if you're basically used to the old OpenSea, then this is yours. If you are a trader and you're used to the blur interface, for example, this is yours. I'm going to go with the collector mode because probably most of you are used to this and like this, but you can also go with this. Now you can choose your display currency. To me, it will always be crypto. I find it super strange to watch the values in dollar, but if you're that guy, then you can do this here. Now let's click on crypto and now, this is what you can do. Embark on voyages, earn as you collect, trade, engage and explore both NFTs and tokens on the new open sea. Complete voyages, unlock experience points and rewards through on-chain and social activities. Your actions power your progress, not the size of your wallet. You need to do certain tasks. We're going to go through the ones that are already live soon. Discover treasures, obtain rare artifacts for completing legendary quests. These relics will be valuable on your rewards journey. Earn shipments. I told you about this in the last video on OpenSea. You probably earned some of the shipments already. And I talked about this in my abstract series as well. It probably makes sense to be active a little bit on abstract to get the next shipment. Um, intercept surprise airdrops of experience points by hitting key goals. Follow us on X for clues about what might be coming next. So abstract is coming next. We know this. Integrity, keep it fair. Manipulative or artificial activity can cost you rewards. Okay, so as always, I don't farm this actively. I just use OpenSea as I would it anyways. And this is what I do. Feel free to do whatever you want, but yeah, if you use OpenSea genuinely, then you're good and you won't lose any of your rewards. So it's game on. Now it takes a little bit of time until you can see OpenSea and that's it. This is the overview of new OpenSea. If you have been using the beta, then you already know how this looks like. It looks a little bit different than the original one. What you need to do is connect your wallet as always. Let's do this. In my case, it's the Rebby wallet. If you don't know what the Rebby wallet is, I got some videos on this as well on my channel, but basically just connect your wallet. Now it's connected. We're gonna do this with this here. You have some previews here. This is the main screen. You see the top collections. You can switch to trending, also the date. And you have this sidebar here. And now the interesting part. Let's go to rewards. Sign in with Ethereum. Let's do this. We're going to sign a transaction, confirm. And now we can see treasures discovered. So these treasures represent proof of your progress and commitment over the last several months and will be meaningfully considered at a later stage of your journey. There will be opportunities to discover new treasures as you voyage ahead. So on purpose, I did not connect this wallet so far. So here we go. Experience points chest open to review your reward based on experience points earned during beta. So let's unlock this. So if you have been active in the beta, then you should get this. So with this wallet, I'm awarded for being in the top 50% of XP points earners during OS2 beta. So not too much, to be honest, I'm only tier two. 
let me know which tier you are down in the description. So this wallet here ended up in the top 50%. I was not active at all with this year, just did one or two listings. And then there's the shipment chest that I can open, open to reveal your reward based on shipments received during beta. So let's unlock this chest as well. This is only tier one because in this wallet, I only got one shipment. So you can see here, also there's up to six tiers. Let me know which tier you ended up down in the comments as well. Now we can click advance and now we need to connect some accounts. Connect your Discord and X accounts to access certain voyages. Some voyages require linked accounts to complete. You can connect or disconnect these accounts at any time. So let's do this. I'm gonna connect my X account and in this case, I'm gonna connect my main account. Connected, they can only view what you are doing. So this one is connected. Now I'm gonna connect my Discord account as well. They can only see my username, avatar and banner. That's it. We're gonna authorize this. Now we got our accounts connected. Link EVM, so Ethereum Virtual Machine. This means your normal Ethereum based wallet. For example, MetaMask, uh, Rebby, Phantom, what Magic Eden, whatever you're using. You can connect your EVM, Sol or AGW wallets together on your rewards profile to have a single seamless experience across chains regardless of where your activity happens. So it definitely makes sense to connect some of your wallets. Maybe you go with different accounts, maybe you have different X accounts, different Discord accounts, then it's completely up to you to connect those to another wallet. In this case, I'm gonna link some of my accounts to this one here and maybe I will be um, eligible to claim more chests here as well. So let's click, let's go. And here we go. We can see four different voyages and those are all ending very soon. And what you need to do is link and repost launch announcement. Have you seen our launch video? Like and repost to earn some experience points. Now let's click on view post. And what we need to do is we need to like this and retweet this. Let's see if it works without actually doing this. If they actually check this on X or if this is just a basic timer. So they are actually doing this. So let's retweet this repost it. Now it should be working. So you actually need to do this in order to uh, get this voyage not completed. Make sure to correct EVM is connected and try again. Yes, we did this. Let's click view post again. We did this. Let's check completion again. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. If it doesn't work. Ah, now it's worked. We claimed some experience points. You can see this here. Now we have 25 experience points. Purchase any NFT on any chain. It's never a bad time to add your to your collection. Minimum is five USD. So you can go to view NFTs and then you can sort by chain. For example, we could go to abstract or to ape chain. Let's see abstract because the next shipment will be on abstract as well. So we could go in here and search for a smaller collection, which doesn't cost too much. And we could sell it uh, right after as well. For example, we have the abstractors here, which is worth 0.088 ETH. We could click on those and for example, get one of the floor here. For example, this one here, we could, if we click on it, this is worth $23. So definitely enough. It's completely up to you if you do this. So you need to spend some ETH to actually get this. In my case, I will go through with this. Congrats, you get it. Now we can also list it for sale. You could either either go with the floor or the trade floor, which is higher Then let's put it like this. So it's below the one we are gonna list it for 30 days. And as you can see, um, you can either go with the creator fees or not. You can, uh, you have 0.5% platform fees. Let's review the listing gonna sign a transaction. So after the fees, our this will basically be a net zero. But if we go back, we can 
hit refresh and we should be able to see this. Probably it takes some time until it actually goes. Then we need to purchase $5 of any token on Solana, but we could sell it right away. Then we're gonna search for Pengu. This is the Pengu token and connect Solana wallet. So we need to do this. In my case, it's the Phantom wallet. I'm gonna connect this account. Yes, continue. Sign in. Now I connected both of the wallets. Let's search for Pengu again. Here we go. This is a Solana token. And let's go with um, 0.05. Let's go with 0.04 Sol and let's get some Pengu. As I said, it's completely up to you if you want to do this to get the experience points. Of course, you could swap and swap back again. It doesn't matter which token it is on Sol, but you need to spend at least $5 to actually get the experience points. Now, you need to be still signed in with the Sol wallet where you did the purchase with. As you can see here, I can claim the reward. Claim reward, here we go. Voyage completed, that's it. Uh, let's go back, let's switch to the Ethereum wallet that I have. So you just need to go to the top right and then um, link your sign with the Ethereum wallet. And what needs to be done is to actually um, connect uh, both of them you need to go to the top right and link the solana wallet if you click here then you can see that i can link this sol wallet click to link wallet i can sign and then both are now in the same account and i can also link my abstract wallet if you don't know how to set up an abstract wallet i got the complete guide on how to set up everything regarding abstract here, going through the whole portal, how to set up your abstract global wallet. We're gonna go here, click connect, and then approve. And here we go, this abstract global wallet is now linked as well. We need to sign again. And now it's actually signed. This was the first message was the login with the abstract global wallet, and now we linked it. Even though it doesn't show here, it should be soon. Now we can see I'm um, connected with my Ethereum wallet, but I still see um, that I claimed this one with the Sol wallet. And now we can also claim the reward. So it took like five minutes until I was able to claim this. Now we also claimed this. Now we got the first three ones and create or edit an open C gallery. We love collectors and curators, create or edit a gallery and earn some experience points. So this one is super easy as well, but it brings you 250 experience points. It doesn't cost anything. We're gonna go in here and I still got those Huxley humans here. And I, st I created this like a long time ago. Um, let's click save again and Let's go back here. Probably this is enough. If not, yeah, it's already enough. But if you don't have any gallery in front of it, but on the bottom right, there's a button create new gallery where you can create a new gallery as well. If you already created galleries, just go on the edit, save, and then you're good to go. As you can see here, I can claim the reward now and get 250 experience points. And that's everything that you can do right now. And there will be new voyages in a few hours. So make sure to check those out. Yeah, that's basically the whole OpenSea right now. Everything else is, as I explained in the last videos, everything looks the same. Now it just moved from beta to the complete version and the voyages are live so make sure to get those experience points in and yeah let me know how much experience points you got throughout the beta thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video